So the next thing to have it on WrestleMania 40 night two, we get to the next match of the night. But before we talk about that match, we got to talk about the Hall of Famers. So yeah, they uh, introduce all the Hall of Famers of the class of 2024 this year. Paul Heyman and all of them. They all came out. Pretty cool moment just to see them again. So yeah. Uh, we get to the next match of the night. It was the United States champion, Logan Paul, with the giant prime bottle versus Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens in a triple threat match for the United States Championship. So, yeah, Logan Paul comes out there in a freaking big-ass prime, prime truck, really, with the giant prime bottle. So, yeah, they come out there, pretty cool entrance, and then Kevin Owens comes out there, and then he goes behind the L, and then he comes back with the damn golf cart. And then Orton comes down, Kevin Owens backs the golf cart all the way back up the stage. And then got Orton on the back and then drove it all down. Like, let's be honest, Kevin Owens literally saved us way more time. Because Orton's entrance would have been like 20 minutes long. So, Kevin Owens saved us time, you know. But yeah, we get to this match. This match, it was really damn good. Uh, all three, Well, actually, Kevin Owens and Randy Orton was just beating the hell out of Logan Paul majority of the time. Like, let's be honest, Logan Paul kept on getting beat down by both of those guys. But yeah, Logan Paul kept on trying to come back a few times in this match, hitting a double buckshot Larry at one point and all that. Trying to get him to fight a few times, and you know what? They started fighting. They started beating the hell out of each other and all that stuff. And then Logan Paul at the ending brings in the brass knuckles, hitting uh, Randy Orton, and then uh, Kevin Owens gets on the ring apron. He gets hit in the chest with it, and then gets hit in the face as well, getting knocked off the apron. And then Logan Paul starts picking up Randy Orton at one point, and then he gets hit with the RKO. And then... Uh, Logan Paul's like barely getting back up and he's on his hands and knees and then that's when Orton goes over and you know waiting for uh Logan to kind of get back up a little bit and they was trying to hit the punk kick onto him so yeah Orton was trying to hit the punk kick onto Logan Paul but then the j damn giant ass prime bottle had pulled Logan Paul out of the ring and then obviously Orton was not happy about that he gets face to face with the giant prime bottle and come to find out it was Ice Show Speed. Yeah, fucking Speed was there. And then he started cussing out Orton, telling him to sit the fuck down and all that. And then Orton was not too happy about Speed pushing him. So he just kicks the hell out of him, knocking him down, and then rips off the damn prime bottle off of him. And then puts him on the announce table and RKO's him onto the table. Now, the table never broke, but Speed, he pretty much died on the table. Rest in peace, Speed. But yeah, then after that, uh, they all get back into the ring. Like, we see Orton hitting the RKO onto Logan Paul again. And Orton got hit with a stunner at one point by KO. And yeah, it was just going back and forth. But then we start getting towards the ending of this match where we see uh, Logan Paul getting knocked out in the ring. And then uh, Kevin Owens tries to hit the pop-up powerbomb onto Orton. But Orton reverses the pop-up powerbomb into an RKO, which was really nice. And then he spots Logan getting the golden apron. So he tries to get Logan, but Logan quickly fought him back and then throws him out the ring through the second rope. And then that's when Logan takes advantage of this match, climbing up the top turnbuckle and then jumping off with the frog splash. And then he pinned him for the three counts. So yeah, uh, Logan Paul defeated Randy Orton and uh, Kevin Owens tonight in the triple threat match to retain the United States Championship. That's what happened. Great match, though. Logan Paul is still champion, and Speed died. So, yeah, uh, great night right there. But, yeah, uh, for that match, I'll give it four stars. That's why I'll give it, it was an entertaining match. But up next, we're going to be seeing Bailey versus Eosky 101 for the uh, Women's Championship up next. So, yeah, see you guys later. Till then.